Good morning, people. Hope you guys are doing fine. Welcome back to another vlog in this vlog. What's up guys? So, yeah, the, currently at the water crisis moment, we are taking waters. I was at the up just now, they were giving in the tanks, but it was seems to be like the water was running out, so I came down. But then the water here seems to be like yellowish, so I have to go up again. Wow, look at the booty! Hey guys, so I'm back home after collecting the water. So it was a new experience for me uh, because I never ever uh, queue up to get some water to use on daily basis. So this is certainly a very new experience for me. I did went uh, to collect the water uh, early morning at first around 6.30 and it took around like, I reached home by 9 o'clock so the queue was really long and no, actually not really long but the thing was like every single people brought, lo brought a lot of containers of course because you know families understand the situation but yeah it took so long it took around two and a half hours so after done I came home I had my breakfast and then we went out again for a second time which is what you have seen just now and yeah here am I right now but before continuing the vlog I really need a quick but Seriously, you know, stinky. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm done with the quick part, and yeah, here I am right now. So I was telling about the queuing up for water was a new experience for me. So if some of you like thinking, how was it for me? So I would say, I understand that a lot of people need patience. That's the most important thing when queuing up, like in such situations. So yeah, that's what I learned from this. Uh, new experience where queuing up to get water but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do again this queuing up because pretty sure that this water can't last long like for many days so we are not really sure when is uh, Ice Lango is gonna recover from this uh, hopefully very soon anyways thanks for the feedback on the previous vlogs because I've seen some of you commenting regarding like do some reviews or do some tutorials and so on so I have planned to do on that and you'll be seeing the first review in this vlog right now. So today I'm going to do on long term owner reviews. So I'm going to review two items, actually the same item. So I've been using one for two years and the other one for around one year now. So the two things are the power banks, the power banks that I use every day. So here it is both are actually p9 brand so this is the pn969 and this is the pn961 so this is a 20,000 and this is a 10,000 milliamp power battery power banks and right now i'm actually using to charge my phone while recording this anyways <laughs> okay so if asking me like um how is both of this and first of all you may have have a question like jay why do you have two power banks um Actually, first I have bought the 20,000 milliamp power model first, which was two years ago. And what happened was, whenever I want to use my phone, and uh, I have a habit where I don't like to put my power bank in my bag or my pocket while using it. So I'll be holding with my phone on top, and then you know the cables and everything. So it's kind of heavy. 20,000 20, milliamp power for sure. It's it's gonna be heavy. So. Uh, with the phone on top and every time I want to do a phone call or just want to play games like the hand might get tied very easily so what I did was I had to buy a 10,000 milliamp power so what I do now the 10,000 milliamp is my daily driver 
while the 20,000 I'm using it as my backup so if the 10,000 runs out of juice I'll use the 20,000 then another reason why I bought this 10,000 million power battery is uh, because of this power bank supports QC 3.0 which means quick charge 3.0 now don't get too excited when I say quick charge 3.0 because you might be think like oh my phone have a quick charge feature so this thing is supportive no you see Samsung uses adaptive fast charging and super fast charging technology while uh, other fast charging technologies such as VOCC super fast charging and then we have dash uh, charging and then turbo charging and uh, there's many more so this is a quick charge 3.0 which a technology uh, from Qualcomm Snapdragon which is a company that makes SOC for smartphones. So if your phone have a different fast charging name then quick charge, is, quick charge in this is not going to support. So actually I bought this believing that this could be a fast charging for my phone. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy A50 so this thing have a adaptive fast charging. So I was hoping that this thing can charge fast, but what happened was, no. This thing has two ports here. It has the uh, QC 3.0 as well as a 5V 2.4 ampere charging port. So comparing on both, the QC does charge a bit faster compared to the 5V 2.4, but it's not at the level of speed where you use the original Samsung's AFC system. But this uh, 10,000 million power battery definitely serves the best. It still lasts long the battery. I mean, it has been one year time, so the, the due to the charge cycle, the battery can get weaker, right? So this 10,000 million power battery, usually when I charge my phone, my phone battery size is 4,000 million power. Sorry if this thing gets too technical, but this is a review of this, so I need to talk about it, right? <laughs> So in simple terms, uh, I can charge my phone around 2 to 2.5 times in this from 0 to 100. So now I can charge it around 2 times the max. So it's a good thing that only uh, I would say just a small margin of battery has been weakened. So it's still fighting hard. It's still strong inside here. And for the 20,000 milliamp power battery, it's still the same. This is 20,000, so I can charge my phone around four times. Uh, it's still good. It's still doing good, except for the part where the screen. Yeah, not sure if you can see this. Yeah, you can. So if you can see, the screen has been damaged a bit. I'm not really sure why. It is kept in good conditions most of the time. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what's the problem, but it's still doing good. Only the screen has problem. Yeah, uh, it has been two years. Only the screen has problem, but otherwise the power bank is still doing great. If you ask me if I would recommend these two power banks to other people, definitely yes, I would recommend because these two are really doing the job even after like one year and two year time of using each of these power banks. If you're interested in buying one of these power banks, so the 20,000 milliamp power, the model name is called PN969 while the 10,000 milliamp is a PN961. If you want to find the exact model, then the best option that you can go for is Lazada or Shopee. That's all for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give it a thumbs up or thumbs up, up to you. Don't forget to share with others, comment the feedbacks, what you think of this vlog, and don't forget to subscribe to J Studios. See you on the next vlog. Bye.